what's up welcome back to my channel if you guys are new here and you've never seen my face before my name is Cassie for today's video I'm going to be reviewing a synthetic wig that I purchased from a female owned black owned online wig store it is called human hair for what and y'all when I tell you she has so many gorgeous styles to choose from it was really hard picking one but I found one and its name is Cassie so y'all know I had to grab it like obviously right I couldn't like scroll by and see a wig named Cassie same spelling and not purchase it I'm like mm -hmm. I know I had to if you guys are excited for today's video be sure to go ahead and give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already and let's go ahead and get into it I purchased Cassie in the orange color now I don't know how long ago it was that Vicky Logan came out with a wig with my first wig that was a ginger orange color I want that wig so bad I still don't have it I don't know why that color has always been in the back of my mind so when I saw that she had this Cassie wig in this type of color I was like I felt like it was the universe you know what I'm saying all right this is the first time I'm taking it out of the package the fluff and this co this color I love the curls. It almost looks like a twist out. This is so, so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. And it comes with bangs. So this is a full cap wig. And let's see, do we have any combs? Oh, this is a different cap construction. <laughs> so we have one comb here in the front and then one over by the left ear. There is a comb in the back and it does come with adjustable straps as well. It's not dry, but it doesn't feel super soft. It has a really nice natural texture to it. So I am... I just want to put this wig on. Let's just put this wig on. Okay, I can't. I, I gotta stop talking. confused <laughs> so this cap construction feels weird I almost feel like it's crooked we got the wig on I'm gonna go ahead and style it up a little bit I'm gonna try to get these bangs out of my face and get them to lay how I want them to lay I'll be right back I'm back and I'm done styling this wig. I really didn't have to do too much. All I did was put a few bobby pins right here underneath the bangs to have them sit right on top of my eyebrows because that's where I like my bangs to live. That way they're not dangling in my face or in my eyelashes or anything like that. And I just trimmed a few hairs right here in the front to give it a little bit more layers right here around my face. And that was really all I did it's sitting on me right at my collarbone which is pretty much right where my natural hair sits when I wear it in like a wash and go style I love this volume it's very full the curls are really pretty like I mentioned in the beginning when I pulled it out the pack it kind of reminds me of like a twist out it's not super curly like a natural wash and go type of vibe but it does look like a really nice defined twist out which is something I could never get so now I can get a wig that looks like my natural hair and it looks like I did the twist out, but I did it. I love that. This color is my favorite thing about this wig. I think that she did an amazing job with this color. The root is like an auburn gingery brown and then you have these orange tips. It just looks so, so good. I really don't have many negative things to say. The one thing that I didn't really love is the cap construction because of how I have to have the wig situated in order to have the bangs centered in my face. 
I feel like the ear tab is right here and the wig should sit like this with the bangs in the middle. Maybe it's supposed to be a side bang wig. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure on the website though, it looked like it was going to be like a middle bang type of look. But that's the only thing. But because this is a full cap wig, you can turn it however you want to. I am wearing a wig grip with this unit because I didn't want to utilize the combs. Because like I mentioned, the combs are in, you know, some weird spots, not something that I'm used to. So I just went ahead and threw on my wig grip so I wouldn't have to run in with any issues with these combs. Let's talk about this price point. I believe this wig is $50. So some of you may think that that price is a little steep, but have you seen a synthetic wig from one of these major companies out here that looks like this with this color blend? No. Also, knowing that I'm supporting another black woman in her business, I am really happy to spend my money, you know, so do you. If this wig is not for you and you're not really feeling this style, be sure to check out her website. She has so many styles. I know I already said this, but it was really hard to choose one. I actually purchased two, but it was really hard to choose because I just couldn't figure out what I wanted because so many of the styles look so good. I hope you guys enjoyed today's show and tell. I know I really don't do these kinds of videos. Usually I do like a more structured, thorough review of the wigs that I feature here on my channel, but I just wanted to, you know, switch it up and just feature a look and show y'all what's out there. So if that subscribe button is as red as my hair, that means you have not yet subscribed to my channel. Hit that button, turn on the bell so you never miss an upload from me. If you enjoyed today's video and you wanna see more show and tells, a more laid back wig review vibe, give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next upload, which will be very, very soon. Bye.